the idea that we can actually design out crime and nuisance behavior before it even happens. That this built environment that's around us here has a direct relationship on how people behave and act. And so when you have a whole community and a whole city that's built on those principles, then you're creating a very safe city. The power rests at a municipal or town level. They have total control over how we build in our cities because they hand out the permits. So they really hold all the strings here. And if that's one message that we could get across is to realize that as a municipality, I can control how things are planned and designed in my city or my town. And that then gives them a lot of credibility to encourage a developer to follow through with the SEPTED principles. To prevent crime is the ultimate objective, not to deal with it after the fact. So anything we can do to develop a crime prevention strategy is what communities do need to do. We've been studying this and proving it for, for over 60 years. SEPTED is the most effective crime reduction strategy when it's applied properly in, in throughout the world. SEPTED's in use uh, in Japan, in Holland, in Great Britain, in Europe, in Brazil, in South America, certainly in the United States. So it's part of every single due diligence that goes into a building of a general nature in a, in a municipality. The city of Vancouver, the city of Victoria, the city of Abbotsford, Prince George, Fort St. John, a Mission, all communities where they've had some sort of SEPTED training or that balloon has been floated up by someone have embraced it and they understand the benefits of it. So why wouldn't we do this? Why wouldn't we encourage uh, every single development to include this principle in what we're building and designing and planning and zoning? Why wouldn't we? It has a mix of residential and retail, typical of perhaps a main street that you might buy in a, in a more yeah. urbanized setting, with uh, sidewalks and nice retail stores. And that creates more of a complete community. People engage in the street more. I think that's one of the biggest principles of SEPTED. Big high glass windows, a lot of transparency into the retail, so it makes the retail more viable. Because, Like I said, a little more urban. Good design is also safe design. Yep, and I think it's profitable too. It's street furniture right. that would encourage people to linger. SEPTED wants to know about the physical environment we're putting this structure in and that surrounding quarter kilometer radius and that's where relationships come in. So SEPTED can't be prescribed, there's no checklist we can generate. That's what makes it so exciting to use and practice in because it's very creative and you have to get out into the real world and see what's actually going on here day and night before you build here. And then you can know if you can be extremely creative or if we need to be a little more conservative. SEPTED is multidisciplinary. It, we have to work with other crime prevention programs. It is part of our overall crime prevention strategy. And we suggest, for example, to local authorities that they have an overall crime prevention strategy. And in that, they include all crime prevention programs that they're running, including SEPTED, including CCTV, including youth programs, seniors programs. It doesn't really matter as long as people are sitting around the table and discussing the issue of crime prevention overall. SEPTED has more effect and is is far more successful when it's included as an overall crime prevention program. The value for the RCMP to be involved at this stage is enormous because mm -hmm. if we're faced with coming in at the end of the design phase when people have occupied it and we retrofit SEPTED measures, it can often have the opposite effects. You get into more of a siege mentality as opposed yeah. to and a you positive. may not need that if you did it right absolutely. first place. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Our success is at this level. Um, if we've missed the opportunity and we tell an individual, well, you should probably put in a gate and a big sign saying no trespassing and no one allowed and you're under video surveillance, we've kind of missed the opportunity. One of the main principles of SEPTED, which is simply called territoriality or ownership, if you like, and the idea is that everyone living in the neighbourhood takes some part in it so that everybody has a sense of ownership of that place. And the idea simply is, okay, we own this place, we will look after it, and we won't tolerate things that uh, go the wrong way.
Implementing SEPTEP principles is very important. Uh, every single development that we have in the city uh, goes through the process at the uh, Design Advisory Council that uh, works with uh, the developer and the investor and his team in terms of looking at all of the SEPTED uh, principles, making sure that they're implemented. It's very simple and it's very basic and, and it's uh, very important to implement on the front end. I think this uh, project serves an excellent model. We shared with the public at the public information meetings as well as the public hearing. Actually, the sighting of this thing was pretty good. I asked myself, what is our target population doing? How are they going to get to our facility? So behavioral objectives and then the SEPTED with the tools. The rest of the landscape is open so that both the clients and the staff can see what's going on. Excellent. There are really great sight lines. Again, good visibility from a number of different angles. So we did look for a, a picket fence, hard to top, and it's strong, and you can see through it. Chain link, it doesn't look good. It's easily climbed, and it's really a false security. The customers feel safe. They spend money. And this, this place is lit, it's bright, it's clean, it's everything that SEPTED says we should be doing. They've really maintained the landscape. It's compressed, it's slow, so there's visibility throughout. They have used glazing. The staff is now able to see exactly who's coming up on them, what's coming up on them, rather than having it all blocked. The staff has control. Good, clear sight lines, the pathway coming in. It feels safe. It does feel very, very safe. We have people in our building department, we have people in inspections and parks and architects. They're all trained within those principles. On the other side, the city side, if they're trained, if they're city planners, they're city architects, uh, their bylaw enforcement people are all trained in SEPTED, they can review the plans that come across their tables with their different disciplines along with the RCMP and local police departments. Their officers are trained in it if they're all coming to the same table they can also help to design out that opportunity for crime. It benefits the city in that they now have problem solvers in a group that they could then take and apply to um, a problem or a hot spot area that would benefit them down the road as well too. Very open, very transparent, just creates a very comfortable feel. There's a lot of clarity to it too. You can tell what you're supposed to do. They in fact have put a lattice screen around it so it can't be occupied. It's a safe space. No one can conceal. It works. As you can see, Jim, over here, again, they've eliminated any of the external hardware. Just one of those target hardening measures that we promote. You know, signage is important from time to time. So here we have a clear indication that it's private property, and uh, just not anyone can come in here. This is a great space, Gerald. It's got I a think great... so. I think it has some good yeah. natural surveillance. So yeah, this has all the ingredients. Looks good. It's visible. It can be occupied. People want to occupy it. It's a good deal. Well, SEPTED is a clear example of where governments and private sector can partner together to develop a crime prevention strategy. It really has helped us because it's made us look at um, our development in our community, the areas that we have, and how do we make them safer, more visible, incorporating all of the SEPTED principles into it that really contributes to crime prevention. Not only are there financial benefits, but there's also community benefits, there's also benefits for, uh, you know, individuals, vulnerable seniors, or women, uh, you know, walking down the street alone. All of those things contribute to making sure that you've got a healthy, safe community. SEPTED plays a lot of different roles in a municipality and can benefit them by creating safer, successful environments that have long-term benefits that will generate an interest in that development from the community, from the businesses that are there, and the clients as well. So that the people who are there on site feel like they take ownership of it, and so it stops crime and reduces the nuisance behavior. 
and that's something every municipality can benefit from. Communities and developments, whether they're mixed use, retail, or commercial, or residential, can then be sustainable and defendable. And that's good for business, that's good for property values, tax base stays healthy and strong, and then you have less crime and less nuisance behavior. Since we've implemented the SEPTED uh, principles into our community and in, in everything that we do, we've definitely seen improvements all the way along. At the end of the day, it's placemaking, I think. You yes, know? it is. A and the degree to which you don't have a place, I think, is also the degree to which you have opportunities for crime. Uh, you know, if yeah. there are no, if there's, there's no attraction for people, right. then yeah. um, you've got you've got sort of dead space. Yeah. And at the end of the day, if you have places that are more amenable to the public and have layered uses, then you're in a good spot. It's just uh, creating a better project, a higher level of design, more thought has gone into it, and that in the end, those buyers of that project have a safer environment, they have a better product, and you know they're building a better community because all these guidelines and principles have, has been uh, placed into it. No one wants to create an area that will uh, be thrown into a state of disorder in five or ten years, and yet that's what we're doing in many cities. It's all done by accident, but eventually because of this relationship that exists between built environments and how people behave, if we don't design them well and plan them well and control them well, then they will eventually tip and then you'll have a state of disorder, which no one really wants. It's fairly common in um, third world countries at least, it's certainly common in Europe and uh, the UK for example, Australia New Zealand um, over here. Uh, we even have the, a similar process uh, evolving in Chile of all places, so it's around the world and uh, it's good to see that happening, that it's just becoming very, very common. It's just part of doing business. It's about building a healthy community and it saves money and, and it's very simple and it's very basic and, and it's uh, very important. We want to design cities that are truly safer and sustainable, more successful, places where people want to come and do business, where people want to come and live and socialize and feel safe. They won't be here if they don't feel safe.